I really struggled to heat our home in the winter, to buy adequate amounts of healthy food, to pay transport costs to and from college and work. Like, I'm already constantly in chronic arrears on the rent, the gas, the electricity and childcare and I'm just about juggling them from month to month. I'm living on 277 euros a week. Now, I can't pay my credit card or credit union loan on my car. I can't go anywhere or even get my girl's hair cut. When I get money, I pay my electricity, my food bills. I've nothing left. We've no luxuries. I feel horrible not being able to provide some kind of normal stuff for my girls, fun stuff or go anywhere fun. One of my girls, she has health issues. Recent trip to the hospital cost me 130 euros for food and travel. I get penalised for working, for trying to make a better life. I was told to get more hours and claim family income supplement. But I work in retail on a 12 hour fully flexible contract so there are no more hours in work so I'm stuck. I'm 31 and I feel like I'm going backwards. I can't work full time because of childcare costs so it's just a vicious circle. They took me off the social housing list to go on the rental accommodation scheme. So it took 18 months to find someone willing to rent on the scheme. When my place is up next April, I worry, you know, what's going to happen if he sells or he goes private. Working is impossible due to childcare costs and then I wouldn't have any address or even a stable home. I was working 20 hours in a play school and studying for my level six, which I paid for myself because I couldn't get any help. I was paying 585 euro towards the rent and then the landlord increased the rent to 1,200 euro. Um, the department refused my claim from threshold for the extra amount and I was trying to better myself, but ended up suffering with anxiety and panic attacks. And in the meantime, my hours were reduced. 15 per week so after going to see three TDs I finally got my rent sorted. It would just make more sense for me to give up work because I'd get more but I really enjoy working and mixing with other people. In 2014 I had the one parent family taken from me when my daughter turned seven. That was a loss of 420 euros a month so as a result I couldn't make my mortgage repayments so my house was gone after paying it for 14 years. I'm on an eight year waiting list with the council for a home and currently my application for rent allowance, it's been rejected, which means that myself and my daughter are going to be homeless. I no longer receive fuel allowance, so I was struggling to purchase heating oil. The minimum fill is 250 euros, which we just didn't have. We haven't had any heating oil since March. So uh, we sit under the duvets at night to keep warm. I always find it especially hard in the winter to heat my rented house as it's so old. I've cut down the showers now to twice a week because that's all the coal I can afford to run through the fire. I hope that a 40 kilo bag will do me two weeks. You know, well, I, that's possible in the summer, but not really in the winter. I just dread the thought of it. Because I'm in my final year of college, um, I won't be changed over from my current social welfare payment until next year. At that point, I'll have no income after paying childcare for my part-time job. Socialising, just, I mean, a cup of tea or a chat after a lecture is impossible when you're rushing off to collect a child, as childcare is already too expensive. Um, I never, I never get a chance to be a person in my own right. It's, um, it's lonely and it's a dark, it's a dark existence with, um, with little hope. My, my income decreased drastically by about 80 euros per week with the change in one parent family payment. 
I try to you know, save on food because it seems to be the only expense that I actually have any control over. So they've literally taken food from my daughter's mouth. I am full of rage simply because this is being sold as a measure to support lone parents into work and education. I have a master's degree and a good part-time job that pays much more than the minimum wage, but rents are still going through the roof. And childcare is, is just a constant worry. Tackling those two issues would actually help to support lone parents. Instead, they've decided to take our money away to further feed the stereotype that we are lazy welfare scroungers rather than low income workers, carers, trying to raise children who have, in many, many cases, been completely abandoned by their other parent. The changes made to one parent family payments means that I'm now on a job seekers transitional payment. I'm looking for work, but anything of a chance of getting is not going to pay for the childcare. Like a lot of jobs are under the hours for family income supplements. So basically it feels like I'm been forced into a low paid job for the convenience of our government. Like who's worried about my child? Nobody, only me.